Now I'm going to get to the fun part and show you how to edit this entire page. It's going to be awesome. So it's really simple here and it makes it really easy. All you have to do is go to this customize at the top and it's going to customize the entire home page. So as you see here, it lays out all these sections. So we're going to start with the first section. The very first section is general options and we're going to go to the preloader and so you see the different colors there. If you don't know what the preloader is, let me show you on the demo. It's this first thing that comes up, this loader. Okay, that was fast. Let's try again. That thing. Did you see it? Okay, so those are the different colors you can make it. I'm going to leave it yellow because I like this color, but you can change it to any of these. The next thing is the logo. So if you see here, this logo is up here. I don't want their logo, so I'm going to remove that, and I'm just going to type in the name the freelance crew. You can of course add your own logo, but we don't have one, so we're just going to leave that. You can save during any time during this as well. Contact details, let's go ahead and click that. This will give you your social icons here and also your contact information. So for social, um, I don't really have a social for mine, but if you did, you'd say www, whatever the URL is, and then whatever your, you know, forward slashes. So if it was the freelance crew, but I'm just going to put the regular, you know, names in here just to make it easier. Okay. So now we're going to do our email address, which I do have the freelance crew at gmail.com, whatever your email is. Then you're going to do a phone number. I'm going to leave this filler here and then your address for your business, which I'm going to leave as well. And then you can save it, go back. Now we're going to do footer details. So to scroll down and show you the footer here. So it's this little section here. So you'll see I'm going to remove their logo. And then you can do a footer copyright. So you can change the text that's in here. So what, what you usually like to do is put your business name. So I'm going to go ahead and put the freelance crew. And then I'm going to move this around a little bit. Take that 20, oh, 2016. Okay. And then I'm going to take this off too. Not really necessary. Just make it simple and clean. All right. And save that. Looks good. Really simple. Uh, next up is a site identity. So you see it says the freelance crew. I want it to have a little tagline. I don't want it to say WordPress, of course. So just make up a little tagline for your business if you don't have one. If you do, put one in here. I'm going to do helping, well, helping others learn to create a freelance business. That's kind of our motto. And we'll show you where that comes up on the site as well. Okay. And you don't have to save every time. I just like to do it. You can just hit the back arrow and save when you're all done. It's totally up to you. So while that's saving, I'm going to do the static front page for this site is a little tricky. So usually you'd go static page and click home. But as you'll notice here, the home page is actually not the same as what we want. So we're going to go ahead and not do that and leave it as is and put it as your latest posts. And that's going to leave the default home page that we're going to edit. So we actually don't need that home page. So we're going to delete it off of our menu later.